What is going on everybody? Today I am on an HO18. Back with a, uh, a new video, my first pack opening of 2018, which is going to be kind of cool. Hopefully I can get something good. I'm uh, I'm not going to do a pack opening for a while, maybe not even until Team of the Year, I don't think. Other than opening up like my competitive season rewards or any rewards that EA decides to hand out or any sets that I'm able to do with my coins. Just because the market's kind of at a really bad point of this year. The market's been bad all year um, and I just don't feel that opening up packs will generate a lot of revenue which is kind of the whole point of doing it. It's also to get cards for your team but my team is really good and I'm finding that I can even add some lower caliber players onto my team and still do well like I added Kevin Schattenkirk 83 overall to my team and he did really well so I'm kind of just at a point where I'm just going to try out a bunch of players onto my team see how they perform I have a bunch of evolution players and they're definitely going to go up throughout the rest of the year so I don't need to really worry about that much but this can be the last little big video pack opening wise before we get into the rest of the year I'm going to start it off with my prime time reward which I just actually put into the set. I don't even know who the players are, so we'll see if we can get anybody good. Josh Manson is not good at all. He's got decent checking and defense, but other than that, pretty wang. I'm going to open up this gold pack as well, and then we will uh, get into the big ones. I have 150k pack. I always got to kind of add a big one into there, even though I usually don't end up getting anything good. I'll just uh, I'll add it in there anyways. There's a Kessler. Ryan Murphy, Philip Denol had him in fantasy for a bit. I forgot that this was just a regular gold pack. I was waiting for my other rare players and they just weren't showing up. Let me open up a one of these Monday or the mini collectors packs. They're not Monday mix packs. There's six gold players. Hopefully we can get something good. You get some bronze and silvers in there as well. Cam Fowler, not really too great. A couple of really low caliber players. Yanni Gore, doesn't he have a regular card in this game? Thought he had a gold card. I guess he doesn't. But, uh, holy moly, okay, there we go, we got a decent player, Jake Mawson. I was gonna say, what the hell is this shite, but we actually ended up getting somebody decent in Jake Mawson, so I'll take it, even though I'm not gonna keep him, because he's just not really worth it. Basically, I'm looking for gold collectibles, high-rated players, primetime, eh, I guess. I can't do the set until next week, so it's not really worth it, and then there's a dry title. But I'll keep the primetime, I won't keep anybody else. Two, uh, well, former Edmonton Oler, and then a current Edmonton alert back to back which is pretty cool a big reason why I'm doing a big pack holding here is to get another Jordan Eberle no it's not to get another Jordan Eberle it's to get one of those ultimate legends which I have yet to even see in a pack for myself I really want to get one it would be awesome I don't even care if I get like Chelios uh, who's still good gold collectible I'll take but no I just really want to see it just pop up into the packs skip none of my rare players off the start that's cool Scott Wilson we get Venberg and Mark Stone, I'm seeing. I think it was in Dubrinsky. Jesus, that was terrible. Really nothing to get super excited about so far. Which I hope we can get something good for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the videos. Just one good player that can just make me say, holy shit, this is worth it. Uh, team of the week is okay. There we go, we get a 92 Bobrovsky. As I've been talking here, saying I want somebody cool, we get... Uh, high level player, Krejci and Sakara. I don't think the Bobrovsky is that expensive, but it's a 92 player, I'll take that. Goligoski, Pelek, Mark Stone again. We're looking for that last rare player. It's going to be Ryan McDonough. Holy shit, that's bad. <laughs> that was horrible. Come on, we're gonna get somebody big. All of Eric Malarson I see right there. Bigger than him, come on. Yanni Gourd, which I mentioned, he has a gold card. So there it is. I guess he just got it in the uh, when they all upgraded the silver players. Nolan Patrick has a bronze card and a gold card. I don't know why I was so surprised that Yanni Gord had two cards as well. All of my common players in a row. What the hell? And to add to that, they're all duplicates. So a prime time is okay. But where are my rare players? That's what I'm looking for here. Scott Darling made a really good save. Max Domi and... Kyle Palmieri, wow, that was brutal. Four gold plus packs remaining. So far, Bobrovsky's been the best one. Can we get something better than that? Robbie Russo. Vatanen again. We got him earlier. Cam Atkinson and Alec Martinez. Wow, these are bad. Like, you can now probably understand why I'm not opening packs. In fact, I recorded my competitive season rewards for the whole season of last season, and they were so bad that I just didn't bother uploading the video because it would have been so boring. I Like, I didn't get anybody. Tyler Johnson's okay, 85. Um, I got... 
Ice Matthews, but apart from that, just nothing. So it would have been, it was so boring. I was just sitting there like complaining and I was just, no, I didn't want to upload it. Oh, wow. Holy crap. We got Eberle, 87. Oh, he's all right. But then we got Sergachev and the Tyler Johnson, who I might actually try out because he has an upgraded card. Does he have, I don't think he has a card upgraded higher than that, so I might try him out, yeah. With all this complaining and just talking about how bad these packs are, I do have those good ones at the end. Come on, he's evolution right now! Oh, that would have been so cool to have gotten him. God damn it. Okay, and there's a Katuri as well, 288 ice cards. Man, that's really frustrating that I couldn't get somebody better than that. Goligoski again! 83s! Oh my god, Kyle Connor. Well, yeah, he's okay. And then Elias Lindholm. <laughs> wow. That's all the packs have been. All my common players in a row kind of thing. And then just shite rare players afterwards. We're dwindling down to the remaining packs here. Um, once again, if I don't get anything good in these remaining ones, I don't know how, uh, how well the video is going to turn out, to be honest. All three of my rares, we're waiting on one more. Uh, right at the beginning there, and then it's dry saddle. My God! Please, uh, for the love of God, these 75 heap packs better save the video. If I get something 90 or above, I'll consider that a, a decent, uh, a decent end to the video. Two special items right there. I actually have enough collectibles to do the Crosby, so I don't really need them anymore. But I'll take it. Maybe it'll go for something. I don't know. A troll check there at the beginning. Oh, okay, I'll take the Carlson. 89 Carlson. That's a pretty sweet pull. And another collectible, including an Ottawa collectible, actually, with Carlson in the pack is kind of cool. But um, double collectibles and a regular Carlson is not bad. I think Carlson's about like 25k, maybe, maybe more. So I'll take that. That's fine. But he isn't 90 or above. I wanted 90 or above. To end off the video, Dustin Bufflin's okay. Um, he's well, he's okay. Uh, I have his uh, team of the week card. There's an Ehlers 88. We're getting a lot of ice cards. Oh god. Oh okay. That's that's not bad. 90 or above. I was just saying he's a 95. Like come on. Give me a good. Oh, I just uh, whatever. Um, Jamie Ben is not bad, but uh, the 90 Claude Giroux is pretty cool. I'll keep the Ben. I'll keep the Giroux. I won't keep the Ehlers, but. Um, you know what? That wasn't a horrible pack, to be honest. That wasn't horrible at all. But uh, they're trolling me with that freaking McKinnon. Oh my god. Anyways, 150k pack to end off the video. Can we get something good? Just one good player. 190 or above to end off. Even though we got Claude Giroux, I, I want a better 90 or above player. I'll take the collectible. Please, no, no. Back to three. Oh, he's team of the week. Oh, we get back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back ice cards, including a 91 McKinnon, who I'll be able to sell, which isn't too bad, but... Oh, there's a Marshan, okay. Wow, that's two 90-plus ice cards in the same pack. That's pretty nasty. I'll take the collectible. Can we get anything better than that? We'll see. Oh, a Kucherov? Another collectible. Wow, this is actually a pretty sweet pack. Another 90 overall player in Voracek. Another ice card. Weber is pretty good. Another collectible. Oh my god, this is actually pretty sweet. Another ice card, I'll take it. And that's it. But, holy mackerel. I'll take Weber. Chris Tang, Jacob Voracek, Kucherov, Buffalo Sabres, Marchand, McKinnon. Like, holy moly, that was pretty awesome. I do have enough for two more packs, so I'll just round out the video here. It was okay. It wasn't great. I had uh, high hopes of getting something better than what we got, so... That was a little disappointing, but we still got a lot of cool stuff. Collectibles, some good players that I can sell, make some coins off of it. But um, nothing, like, outstanding that I got really excited about, including in this one. I got enough for a 25k pack. This is it. This is going to end up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video. If you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe for that um, Brian Little Team of the Week and a Kuznetsov back-to-back, -back, which is pretty cool. Can we finish it off with a sweet player at the end, though? I guarantee we're not going to get anything good. And there's Marion Hosa to end off the video.